Hey guys, this is the new storage system that I made for my tool holders and collets. And in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you what models I decide, where you can download them for free, and I'm going to give a couple of important tips for when you want to make these yourself. So these are a couple of my tool holders and ER collets. And these are also the mounting blocks that I designed to be mounted on these DIN rails. I made these mounting blocks for ER collets, for BT30 tool holders, but these are also compatible with ISO 30 and SK 30. And finally, for the Morse taper holders. Um, in this case, I made it for uh, Morse taper 2, MT2, but I also have models for size 1 and 3. So the first holder that I made is for ER11 collets. This one holds uh, 36 collets. I also have a bigger one, but I doubt anyone will need it because uh, I don't know many people that have 72 of these uh, collets. So the second one I made is for ER20 collets. This one holds 40 collets. I also have a smaller one for 20 collets. But because I have quite a lot of these collets, I decided to make the larger one for myself. And just as with the previous one, it's really easy to just hang them on the rails and that's it. Last size is for uh, ER32. Um, I've got also two models for these. Um, it's the same as with the other two. This one holds 15 collets and uh, the smaller one holds six. And again, easy to mount. So I also made mounting blocks for uh, BT30 um, tool holders. So let's say 30 taper holders because they also fit uh, ISO 30 and SK 30. Uh, these are the standard version. This one doesn't have any additional reinforcement. It's uh, just printed plastic. So it works for the lighter holders, but not so much for the heavier ones. I made these also in two sizes. I just showed you the four uh, position one and this one holds two, uh, two holders. And the last one I'm going to just hang on here. Alright, that's it for these holders. Besides the mounting blocks that I made for the lightweight uh, tool holders, the verti taper holders, I also made one for the heavier ones. I didn't want to hang these just on a thin piece of plastic and uh, wanted to reinforce them. And so I did so by uh, adding a couple of screws in the back. So there's no space left on the board uh, for this holder, but I wanted to show it anyway. I also made holders for uh, Morse taper, Morse taper 1, uh, Morse taper 2, what it, this is, and Morse taper 3. So on to some building tips. Uh, first of all, if you have 30 taper 2 holders that are bigger than this one for uh, ER20 collets, uh, you really need to pick the reinforced version or the heavy duty version as it is called on the download page. It's stronger and that way you can make sure that uh, they don't fall off. Uh, the second one, I made these from a PLA plastic, but it's also fine to make it from PETG or uh, ABS or nylon or, or anything for that matter. Uh, but it's also possible to make them in uh, PLA, which is really nice and convenient because it's cheap and easy to print. For the printing itself, the settings that I used are, um, when it comes to the, the layers is I've got three top layers, three bottom layers and two uh, perimeters. And the infill I used was set to 15%, but anything between 15 and 20 is fine. You can do more, but it's not really necessary. So these models can be printed in layer heights ranging from uh, 0.1 to 0.3 millimeter. And uh, one thing to note that if you're going to pick a 0.3, as I did with all these holders, uh, and you also made these uh, heavy duty versions, you really need to uh, follow the threads that you printed with a uh, M8 tab. Because the um, resolution of the print around these uh, threads is not high enough uh, to just screw in the bolts themselves. So that's something to be aware of. Apart from that, these holders are really easy to print. Just put the top on the print bed, 
and the rest can just be printed without any support material. So these models are uh, available for free download. I added a link in the description of this video um, to each of these models. So if you like these types of videos and want to uh, follow along on my build vlogs and uh, see more of my uh, sh smaller projects in the future, please subscribe. So thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.